Good day, America. This is J.W. Scroggy, and I'm running for president 2016. It is day 247 in this campaign, and we are rolling down the road. We're closer to the RV. Things are going great. We're closer to getting the website. It just takes a lot of time doing work and then coming home and doing this job as well. So uh, bear with this campaign. We're moving as fast as we can. But really, we already have a party name, Party America. That's half the battle. We have a party name party america so we have a platform we just got to get the bank set up so i can take in donations because i got a lot of friends on facebook asking how they can send donations and i say hold on fellas we're on day 247 we're not taking in donations yet we got to wait till like day 260 or something because i'm trying to get this started as soon as possible but it's scroggy 16 just reading the news coming across a couple articles i think you might be interested in uh one is we're in a web war with china uh the U.S. ambassador accused five Chinese military officers of hacking into American companies and stealing trade secrets, which really means stealing how they do their books and stuff, and uh, see where all the money's at, and pretty much can wipe them out. So that's not good, and uh, the web's a very dangerous place, so uh, hacking like this happens all the time, I bet. They just got caught this time. So Another story is uh, that Obama learned out the VA wait list. There's a new scandal about the VA waiting list where there's two books. One they turn in and one that's real. So they've been changing the wait times, and it's really out of hand, and there's a lot of VAs that aren't getting the help they need because of the wait times so long. And uh, the White House says Obama only learned of the VA waiting scandal on TV. He learned about it watching TV like he did the IRS scandal where they were, they were during his – campaign they were targeting his opponents okay and taking all their and taking them to court and stuff but he didn't know about that and then the fast and the furious where we were running dr dr guns to mexico for cocaine and some of those guns wound up in crime scenes but he didn't know about that either he found out that on tv and benghazi obama said he didn't know about that either he found out about that on tv and now this, there's like four or five scandals here where he found out on TV. I haven't had a TV in 10 years. I mean, not saying that get rid of your TV, but I'm saying I found about all those things somewhere else in the news I was reading. I didn't watch, I wouldn't find out on TV. He must watch a lot of TV. I mean, shit. What did he do all day? Play golf and watch fucking TV all day? I mean, it's starting to piss me off, America, that nobody else is getting pissed off about this stupid shit. He said he saw it on TV four times, five times for every scandal. It's almost a joke. It's almost like slapping you in the face with a, with a wet towel. And I love Obama. I think the dude's, uh, I like, he's funny, but I don't like his politics. And I, I don't like him telling me that he found out about stuff on TV five different times. Any one of those times, I didn't find out about that on TV. But, you know, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Hell, we'll let everything go. You know, they can come in my house and take me right now and put me in jail. Nobody cares. And I have no trial. It's ridiculous. It's starting to piss me off. All right, the last article is, is mainstream media dying? With all these new news stations coming out that report real news, is the mainstream media dying? It's only owned by six, uh, six different companies own all the media that we see. It could be dying. I don't know. But this says that it's not too far yet. There's, there's still a lot of life in it. Uh, people watch about 153 hours of television a month. And uh, about 90% is information. So they're not going anywhere anytime soon. But they are telling you fabrications. And they are telling you their agenda. There's no doubt about that. Everybody knows that. But it's Scroggy 16 just getting you up with the news. And I hope there's more independent news comes out. I consider myself independent news because I'm telling you how it is, America, and I'm trying to be your front guy. I'm trying to get some uh, wind in my sails to let these politicians know that we ain't taking this no more. And we don't like your politics. And it's Scroggy 16. I'm coming your way, America.